depends upon what the meaning of the word is. I'm horrified that every single day women and children are being placed in situations where they are suffering physical abuse, certainly, but mental abuse and emotional abuse, sexual abuse, that all adds up to domestic violence even before we get to a homicide. It's a lying piece of shit. The only statement that the defendant gave was that the victim was, quote unquote, trying to rape her. I'm horrified that every single day women and children are being placed in situations of rape. It's a lying piece of shit. There have been extensive plea negotiations between the parties. I think Mr. Griffell and I have had a number of conversations we've met with your honor. The bottom line is that the defendant caused these injuries, and I think the defendant um, would, if we were to go to trial, claim a self-defense type of argument, and even given that, taking all of those facts in light most favorable to I think Mr. Goodfellow and I have had conversations about the reasonable use of force and that perhaps the state could overcome that argument if need be because of the injuries sustained by the victim and the lack of injuries uh, sustained by the defendant at all. So given all of that, Your Honor, this is the result that we have come to. The defendant doesn't have any prior criminal history and that clearly was another one of the circumstances that we took into consideration when fashioning this resolution. Uh, I'm horrified that... It's a lying piece of shit. It depends upon what the meaning of the word is. The only statement that the defendant gave was that the victim was, quote-unquote, trying to rape her.